So hello everybody, hello. It is a new moon online women's circle here. Um, myself, Chrisula Sirigu, the Golden News. I'm uh, in very good company today. Wonderful, wild, wise women, warrior women coming from different parts of the UK and also from Netherlands. Yes. I am sharing with you something that will be the beginning of, our, of the call today to celebrate the new moon in Pisces, but also celebrating and exploring the personal year numbers for 2017. You know that I'm involved with uh, the psychology of color, okay? And this energy in psychology of color. And the system I work with is called Color Mirrors. And we work with color energy, also with numbers, numerology, essential oils, and astrology. So we're working with the planetary influences. So there are certain bottles that are connected with the planets. So the bottles that are connected with crystals as well. Right, I can hear some, some uh, if you could just mute yourselves, because there's, there's some sort of background noise. If you can just mute yourselves, and then when you're coming to say something, then you can uh, unmute. Is that okay? Thank you, Joe. <laughs> yeah, Thank uh, you, Constance. Oh, uh, chat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can see in the very center oh. there, I say colors for personal year number three. So my personal year number is three. So how did I get to that? Basically, what I do, I am adding number four, which is the day I was born, plus seven, which is the actual month, followed by the year we are in, 2017. And all of that comes together. When you add four plus seven plus two plus one plus seven, comes together to one number, and then you bring it down to one digit. And that digit is number three. So that number three is connected with Jupiter. You can see here the bottle here, Jupiter which is everything to do about expansion. And the, the energy of uh, coral uh, is in this bottle associated with Jupiter. So anybody who, is, who brings down, you put it, your number, month 2017 together, let's say if, for example, I'm putting um, somebody else's, Jill Barrams, if you do Jill, three plus three, pl followed by 2017, Let's see what number you're going to get. You need to bring it down to a single single digit. Okay. The same for you, um, Debbie. Six plus five plus 2017. All together and then down to a single digit. And then you're going to tell me in a moment. Okay. I believe Joe and Constance already got theirs. So there you go. So that's, that's how I, I, you got these bottles here. Now, why have I got the Lilac Angel of Prayer next to it? It's because that's the, if you like, the, the recommended uh, spray, spritzer, that is again part of the system, to help me and help all the threes out there to go through this year. The, the Lilac Angel of Prayer and Forgiveness is, is really to help, to help us uh, find, you know, like centered in ourselves and, and connect with gratitude and connecting you know, with prayer and setting intentions. Because there's a lot about be, being visible for us, number threes, in this year. So a lot, of, a lot of expanding and getting out there and communicate our truth. So, so we need something to bring back into us, the, connect with your, with your inner voice, with your inner muse, with your inner you know, power. Instead of being you know, crazy going there all the time, you need to come some time for yourself, okay? Sometimes, and that's how the lilac angel of prayer and forgiveness can help with that. Um, the other two bottles that you can see at the top, uh, number 10, the wheel of fortune, and you've got a beautiful gold and olive there, followed by number one, the sun, yellow and yellow on both top and, and uh, bottom. These are my personal bottles. Everybody's got their own personal bottles. Where you put together your date of birth, as, as, as you see it, mine is 4th of July, 1970. So you can do the same for you. I believe uh, everybody's got it. Everybody has done this. Constance got hers, Joe and Jill and Debbie. You had had a mini color psychology 
vision reading. So you, you can get this information from there, okay? If you haven't got it, if you'd like to have one, get in touch with me, okay? Uh, which gives you more information about what each bottle means and how it is related to your own soul purpose and your own path, okay? So I have created a blog article that gives more information about personal year numbers and colors for, for each and every one. So it starts with number one, or to number nine. So these are the nine key numbers we've got in, our, in numerology. So whenever you get to double digit, you always need to bring it down to one digit. And that could be reflected by the energy of number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when you go to the blog article I've created, I've done already part one. So we've covered in the previous call, number one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a little bit about number six. So if you've got anybody who is number six, it could be, if it's not you, it could be your partner, it could be your daughter, your brother, somebody in your family, or it could be a colleague. It doesn't matter. It's fun to play with and gives you such a wonderful insight into yourself and the potential you've got in, uh, in 2017, in this year coming. So... Number six is connected with the beautiful planet Venus. So let me see, let me just get it here. So this is the bottle. So this is the bottle. Can you see it? That's the bottle. It's beautiful pink on top and on bottom. And pink, we're going to do a meditation later on with a beautiful, uh, the support of Pink Angel. Pink is the color of unconditional love. Okay, let me just, uh, let me see if I can give you another, share something else. If it's going to come up, I'm going to stop that. Let me see, I'm gonna share this one here. Again, just to see how, how it works for a number one. This is Constance's uh, uh, personal year number. Okay, which is because we were born on the 4th of July, both of us, we've got the same number three and the like of angel as, as a supportive angel. And her two key bottles is number 30, creativity, and number 21, the key. The key. So, so you, can, you can get that if you like yourselves, but you know, I, I could put that together for you if you like. But I'm just giving you a little bit of an insight how this whole thing works, so you can, you can fill into it. Um, Oh, let me say one hello to Sue. Hello, Sue. I, I know you're there. Okay, so number six in the system is Venus. Okay, Venus is the, is the, is, is represented by the pink color. Pink is the color of unconditional love. So, so what does that mean to you, unconditional love? Maybe it's a little bit, it's a little bit too, um, uh, what should I say, like too much or you know, who am I? Who am I to, to, uh, to believe in unconditional love? Or who am I to, to be loved and, and, and nourished? Or am I good enough? These are the questions maybe that go through your head when you're, you are about to start something new or you're about to say yes to a new project or start, you know, uh, uh, a back on a, new, on a new beginning, if you like. Uh, or even on a daily basis, you may find yourself saying, am I good enough? Do I deserve this? Uh, and and that, that's when if these questions come to you, if you actually stop from, from getting out there and shining your light with the full potential you've got, it means somehow you give too much out there, you are always on the giving, but you're not allowing to receive. You're not allowed to receive. The message I've got for you is that you, every single one of you, including me, you can have it all. You can have it all. So sometimes you say, oh, well, I could can go up to that point and that's it, reaching the plateau and that's it. I'm not going to push myself more. Perhaps you're not one of these women. Perhaps you, you, know, you, you are somebody who says, well, I'm going to get it. I'm going to go out there and make it happen for me. And I'm going to find a way. I'm going to connect with people like you are here now. I'm going to do personal development courses. I'm going to do some my own sort of rituals um, uh, or you know some sort of practices, meditation, whatever that is, to support you 
on your way. Whether that's, uh, that's uh, through alternative um, therapies or yoga or anything, anything that really lifts you up and feeds your soul. So pink is the color that says, well, I, you okay, you, you want to mother or look after or um, support others, but you've got to also allow time to love you and be be in your in your uh, you know loving yourself first and the reason why the reason why it is important to do that is because when you are spreading the vibes out there that you really truly respect and love yourself these vibes are being received by the others so they automatically they treat you like that very easily so you are in the flow of creating relationships based on love mutual respect, understanding, compassion, kindness. So this is, this, is what, this is what pink is all about. And pink is also the color of abundance and money. Again, why? Because when you say yes to, to yourself, things are coming to you. Things are, you are attracting good things in your life. You're attracting good people, relationships in your life. And that's how the cycle works. The cycle of life works. So you say yes and you accept yourself as you are and you love yourself and the others will actually feel it and receive it and they will reciprocate, will bring that back to you because that's what you feel you deserve, right? Yeah? So, so number six then. So if you, if you, if you, if you um, go through and you put together the day and month when you were born, like mine is fourth, followed by 7 July, followed by 2017, 2 plus 0, plus 1, plus 7. Put that all together and see where that, where that brings you to. And then you're going to have a double figure there, break it down to 1. And then see whether it's from 1 to 9, which, which figure, which number it is. Okay. Right. So... This is just, just, in, just in this, uh, this image here, is just to see how, uh, what I've done with uh, the previous call, and Constant is, is on the call, and, uh, and just to see how, how you can play with colors and you can play with numbers as well. Right, so what I like to do now is to bring all of you together. Can I do that? Uh, Marina is on the call as well. Hello, my dear Marina. Hello, my dear. Right, I would like to bring you all together as normal. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Hmm. Okay, I just like to do something else. I like to, uh, to take you to the actual blog article that you can find out about the personal year number so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'd like you to talk and then share with me what number you are so we can all learn from each other. Okay, so when you go on my website, you see, can you see that, I wonder? Can you just unmute yourselves and tell me whether you see it or not? Can you see um, it? No, not at the moment. You can't, okay. No, no I still see the colors of my uh, birth year. <clears throat> Okay, yeah. right, 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 right. So, so, uh, so I don't know why you cannot see it, but I'm not going to uh, try to figure it out now. <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on the chat box, chat here. I'm going to share with you the link, so you can actually, uh, you you can just copy and paste it if you like, or you can just uh, copy it in your notebook, and then you can go back and look at it. I will create another blog article that explains. The numbers six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, we may not cover all of them tonight because I would like us to do a meditation and I would like us to just have a chat about uh, new morning Pisces and how things are for you and share a few more things about it. So, so, um, okay, can I ask something about the bottles you're just showing about my birth date before sure. those? <laughs> sure, uh, because I chose the uh. Uh, creativity bottle and the number three in my color reading, but not the number 21. Does that say something? No, the, the number 20 comes, comes out of your uh, date of birth as the way I, I put the, day, the numbers in your date of birth together. It comes mm -hmm. to number 21 and then down to number three. Mm -hmm. yeah? so, so the first bottle 
uh, that I analyzed when I did your, your color analysis, Constance, it was 21 and then number three. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, yeah, it's good to ask yeah. it. And if you've got any, any uh, other questions, please do. Okay, now, um, let me just uh, click that. Okay. So what can you see now then? Just tell me, what can you see now? Your, your screen and the uh, bottles of my birth date. Okay, still there. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Uh, stop share. Right. Ah, ha, ha. Hey. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, I'm not. I'm not used to doing that, but it's a fantastic tool, isn't it? Because you can yeah. share so much. It makes. It, I hope that it makes a bit more sense to you. Did it? Did it make sense? Or did it? Did yeah, it, absolutely. Did you get more confused? <laughs> 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 okay so so jill did you get your 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 number let me let me just uh, uh yes yeah. i did i'm a number seven okay hey. number seven number seven okay so it relates to neptune planet neptune and it's about it's turquoise color um and of course it's a color of, of creativity and, and uh, expression and flow, flow from the heart. So, um, okay. Right, number seven. Let me just give you some more. If I've got, what else have I got for number seven? Yeah, you're going to have a turquoise year, Jill. <laughs> since, since you had one already, you're going to have another one. Uh, you're very drawn to turquoise, don't you? Yes, yes. So, um, and I know you're about to, to launch a new course. I know you're doing that. This is exactly the right thing to do because in this year, you learn to manifest spiritually. And you do that by creating things, by creating courses that you can, you can communicate your spirit, you can communicate your soul purpose, okay? So you connect more with others by being creative, being in the flow. And, and I know you're in the middle of doing this or, or you're about to launch something new and that's, that's fantastic. Um, and, and also, also it is about, um, about connecting with uh, what we call the, the spiritual law of, of attraction. Somebody, it's got some, some noise at the background. I don't know who it is though. Okay, let me just do that. No, it's nothing. Okay. So let me just carry on with you, Jill. So, um, so turquoise here is about studying, but it's not only about studying. It's about bringing your knowledge out there. Share your knowledge. Share your truth. Yes. Uh, but in in this to be to be uh, successful and effective with your communication you need to understand you may already understand it i'm not saying you don't uh, but whoever's gonna watch back this this video and then you are uh, you put you know you follow the instructions i gave you and you got number seven as your personal year number in color turquoise and um, you need to begin to apply into your life the spiritual law of attraction which means when you got the wheel of fortune and you got the wheel there if you want joy, you need to allow time for you to replenish yourself. You need to allow time to play. If you want money, you need to allow time to be, be able to create, be creative and connect with your inner spirit, connect with your, with your inner voice. So, so joy, money, creativity, laughter, uh, health, all is part of the wheel of fortune. So the more you look after yourself, the more healthy, you, the more vibrant you're going to feel. The more, the more you believe in yourself, in your own abilities, the more you, you show to the world that, hey, this is, it, this is me here, the more that you're going to get back this and the people will attract to work with you and, and be with you. Um, so water, turquoise is water. And again, we have already touched that many times in previous calls. Uh, the calls that I hold um, on the second Monday of every month, these are separate to these ones. These are called the life holistic calls, and these are open to anyone, both men and women. 
okay so so this is only for women only for us wonderful wise women uh, but on the second monday every month i also have this opening this platform i've been doing this for the, more than a year now where we have people the majority there the calling is actually received by women i don't know why I do know why, but you know, the college is by women mainly. And we had, you know, maybe two or three men in the past, but you know, I don't know. It is probably more the feminine energy that needs to get out there and, and be out there and, and help the change and help, you know, the, the creativity in the world. Um, so, so this is it. I, I, if, if you like, Jill, to find out more about this, I will, we can have a different chat and then I can tell you because, of course, in every single year we have the positives and we have some challenges as well. So, so I'm not going to speak now about the challenges just because I really like us to concentrate on individual houses. We've got just a few minutes before the, the end of the call. So who else hasn't got... Um, let me just uh, speak to Debbie. Debbie, what is your year number? You need oh, to, that's, that's better. It. Yeah, it, mine's a three year. Oh, fabulous. Uh, so I already, already shared something about that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Sue, did you, did you hear what I said about putting the numbers together so you can get your personal year number? Do you, would you like to, to share your number with us? Or shall I do it for you? 27th of March. No, it's not that. Uh, hold on. Sue Williams, 9th. Uh, I'm, I'm very keen. I'm very, you know, not keen, intrigued. Number, number 9 plus 5. Okay. I think yours is 3 as well, Sue. Number but 9 plus 5 plus 2. Hold on. Is it, is it, is my six? I thought I worked mine out as a six. Oh, yeah, no, no, you yeah, it comes to 24, so it's down to six. Okay, no, you're right. So number six, so it's already covered. I just like, yeah, I yeah. just like to make sure that uh, those of you who are on the call, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Marina dear, Marina dear, what is, what is, let's do some um, maths now, shall we? <laughs> <What's she doing? laughs> I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> So what's your number, your personal year number? No idea. <laughs> okay, so give me, give me your date of birth. Give me your... 20th, it is. 20th of July. Okay, right. So it's 2 plus 7 plus 19, 2. 1961. Okay. We've got, we've got uh, three people here born on the 1961. That's fascinating. I'm not going to share with you. <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless you don't mind, unless you don't mind, but you're not the only one, Marina. <laughs> you're not the only one. That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, so, so nine plus eleven, twelve, nineteen. So you're number one. Number one. Whatever that means. <laughs> number one. Number one. That's that's uh, what I share in the blog article with you. Uh, number one is about. Uh, it's about uh, you're gonna have a yellow year yellow is the color of the sun so it's all about vibrancy and uh, bringing you know you know you are so much about you know sharing your light and, and then warm people's hearts that's what you are marina nani you're going to be doing this a lot in, in this year <laughs> i can't yeah. help it <laughs> so so and it's also it's about leadership and fun and, and uh, so the yellow is very much about, it's a very intellectual type of color okay so so the very good thing is about don't stick too much to your head i'm not saying that you do that marina but i'm saying but also find the balance between the ego and the playful heart you know connecting the two balancing the two that's that's what the yellow is all about okay so it is if it's too much intellectual then you become people become too serious and then it's not they are not fun to be with but you marine i don't think you're going there i know that <laughs> <laughs> but if you are already you know like joyful because yellow is the color of the sun so and the joy so so you're going to bring more of that into your life okay and then you're going to spread that more into other people's lives so so fabulous
fabulous. Again, <laughs> this is all the positive thing. There is something not as positive that you need to bear in mind. But this can be, can, you can read that in the blog article. I'm, not sh I'm sharing only the good news on this, uh, on this call. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Fabulous. So, um, right. So we've got uh, 10 more minutes left on this call. I'm going to say something with you now, just because we, we are all here together. Um, from next month onwards, I'm going to have a, a small sort of contribution. I'm going to I'll be asking, I'm going to be inviting everybody to contribute something. So if you, if you come here uh, for three months, it's going to be a certain uh, price. If you, if you say that you would like to carry on with six months, it will be a different price. Or for a year, it will be, of course, much, much, a much better price. But I didn't want to do it from this now because I just wanted all to have a taste of what this uh, new moon cycle uh, the new moon um, experiences for you okay so we're going to bring color energy in it we're going to do some meditation we're going to do some uh, uh, muse alchemy as i call it okay and then uh, and then also there will be more time because i'm going to um so to commit to get a different package on zoom so we're going to have longer periods of time so we're going to have you know it could be around an hour and a half or an hour and a quarter so we're not going to be sort of only for 40 minutes as it has been for the last uh, few months. So that will give us more time to, to connect more, to share more, to feel more support. And, uh, and then every single call, I will have somebody who can uh, be a, a speaker to share something. So it could be whether it's nutrition or it could be about uh, the magic of gardening or it could be about uh, beliefs or poetry or it could be about how to connect with your animals heart intelligence it could be various topics so every time we're going to have a slot so so uh, there will be somebody that you'll say in advance to me that i would like to take a slot to talk about something that is very close to my heart okay or you're launching a new book for example or you have a new project you you like to to exchange some ideas with us because that's another thing about this this circle here it's not only about me giving you the information but also to ask for support and connect with other women uh, and because sometimes it's, if we, we want to do things all by ourselves and show that we're so strong and we can do it by ourselves but it's this space here is for you to be more vulnerable and open your heart and say okay I am struggling with this can you please you know help me out somehow and you may want to connect with one woman in the circle here and then connect more with them deeper with them whether it's on face-to-face -face interaction or whether it's online through Facebook or whatever. So you may like to have somebody like a little, little support buddy kind of thing. And then you can say, okay, can we actually help each other here? Uh, there are so many possibilities. That's all I'm saying. And I'm open to all of this I just shared with you. Okay. So um, when we come to these circles, we're also going to look into the new moon energies and this one particular was very powerful it was very very powerful because it was combined with the solar eclipse and for you for example um who is your, your you are in your first house let me see who's in, the, in your first house the new moon uh, hmm. it was uh, jill jill bam your your yeah it's all about image Image meaning like uh, you can uh, you can how you present yourself to the world to the world so it could be from your personal appearance to your website for example to the courses you are presenting out there so it's not only about your physical appearance which is very much about that too so if you want to go and look after yourself in a sense like a new haircut for example I'm giving an example or uh, some sort of uh, you know something you know skincare uplift I don't know whatever that is so this is all about that's concentrate on you and how you present yourself to the world so that's that's in in your first house now the who else is there cancerians we are in the ninth house and it's it's all about let me just uh, find the ninth house here uh, for you constance and marina because i know you're both cancerians so it's all about the big picture the big picture so it is about adventure travel and personal development sounds good eh <laughs> <laughs> so so it's all of that so so it could be what you expect if we can expect you can say it's new and potentially exciting developments in your life 
So all the intentions you're going to set out, because this is what the circle is about, about setting intentions. It doesn't have to be here, but it could be either, you know, within 24 hours after the new moon. It's really, really powerful to set your, your intentions. Okay, so you can wish for the bigger picture of your life. And of course, you need to connect with uh, gratitude. So everything you have already received in your life, and then you want to have more of that. Okay. Um, so who else now we're going to move to um, the Taurus uh, uh, so and 11th house new moon in Pisces in your 11th house is the friends zone no the friendship so connections people that you work with people that can be supportive in uh, new beginnings or projects you may have it's about uh, uh, setting the attention to attract this kind of people and uh, also to open up yourself to, to say yes to this kind of, of collaborations that will support you on your path, yeah? So, so I know, Sue, you are in, involved with a wonderful new project. You're going to tell us all about it uh, on Thursday at World Book Day. So, Sue Williams, Marina Nani, uh, you, will be, you too, you will connect on Thursday because you will be part of it, which is fantastic. Jill, I'm sorry, you, I know it's going to be your birthday, and you're going to have a fabulous time. I'm going to say lots of love to you and, and lots of, uh, lots of uh, fun on your birthday. I'm sure you, we, can, we can have you next year um, because it's going to be it's an annual celebration. It's going to happen again next year. Um, right. So uh, who else I haven't mentioned yet? Uh, Joe, yours is in the third house. In the third house. And that means it is within your communication zone. So basically, basically, it's all about, you're going to have a busy month in terms of expressing yourself with, uh, with clarity. Uh, uh, ask yourself, is there any point that you're actually hiding yourself? If you do find that, if you want to be honest with you, all right, yeah? So if you, if you find yourself that you are still hiding somehow, see how you can push yourself to communicate your truth, communicate from your heart. Because this is the month for you that can that can really really uh, support you on this on this uh, on this path, yeah, of, of more clarity, more self-expression, and communication. Okay, yeah. Have I have I mentioned have I said something about everybody? Debbie, you you are a Torian as well, so I didn't mention about friends and collaborations and uh, yeah, I didn't mention that. Okay. Uh, of course, I can say much more about everything. They say, uh, I will put a blog out there and then I will share something. So you can have, uh, you can see it in writing as well, apart, apart from just listening to it. It works for me. I don't know whether it works for you, <laughs> but it does work for me a lot. I love, I love writing, expressing with, with words, my feelings and whatever ideas I've got. And that's, that's how the intentions work as well. You know, like, uh, you know, when you want to set an intention, Take the time not just to think about it, just writing down in a piece of paper or in a journal, if you've got a journal, that is, or, or if you've got a visual, you know, like a vision board, you can stick them there. Something that is really vivid and really like a, you connect with this intention, this, uh, this idea, this feeling, this thought. It's not just in one of, one of, oh, I wish I had this or I wish I could do this, but it's more on a, it's, it's there, it's part of your life. It's like practicing something and when you practice something day in day out you see the results don't you yeah so it's exactly the same thing when you set an intention right so I'm just going to say thank you so much for being here today uh, there's so much more I like to share but as I said from the next call onwards it's gonna be more time and space for all of us to communicate and connect okay so um, the next the next one is going to be on the 27th of March. It's, again, it's going to be on a Monday, 27th of March. And I'm going to stick with eight o'clock. I hope that it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, please let me know. Okay. Yeah. Right. So lots of love. If you want to unmute yourself just to say, say goodbye. <laughs> so we can hear your voice again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chrisula. <laughs> okay. I, ho I hope you, you enjoyed. I hope it was useful. And uh, there's more to come, okay? Lots of love and enjoy. And remember, remember to take time to nourish, nourish yourself and do this uh, setting of intentions within the next few hours. 
okay? Take the time and do it for you. It will really work. It will really work, okay? And I like to be in touch with you and hear what's happening, okay? So, yep. so if there's anything that's changed and or you have a, a challenge, you know where to find me in the group on Facebook as well, okay? 